Hello YouTube. Uh, this is just a quick video showing the TBM812 that I have recently acquired. Uh, we're going to take a look quickly at what the features are available on this meter and um, see if it's worth purchasing, which I highly think it is. Alright, so what we're looking at here is the TBM812 uh, Bryman multimeter. It's sold as Toptronic by a company called Hellman Titan here in South Africa. Um, I, this is more of a response to a video that I did about the TBM811 where somebody asked me can you delta out um, or uh, sort of correct 450 ohms in your lead resistance and uh, this is basically a response to that and also to show you the TBM812 and why I think it's a much better meter. Now if you watch the review on the TBM811 you'll know what its features are. It's basically volts AC, volts DC millivolts AC, DC, capacitance, diode, resistance, continuity, amps, then of course you've got milliamps and microamps. Pretty much the same as what you have in this meter over here. Everything is the same except for that this meter has a dual display. Um, basically the dual display allows you to show the reading, AC volts, and the frequency, or if we're measuring DC volts, we can see the AC ripple or various other things basically, and you can change the way the display works. Um, for all intents and purposes, the two meters are almost identical, the 811 and the 812. Um, the only difference is the 812 does have the feature to remove your, your, um, your lead resistance. Uh, let me just grab a set of leads and I'll show you guys that. Right, I've got a set of aftermarket uh, Element Titan Toptronic leads over here. Um, they're not too bad, they get the job done. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate worst case scenario with the leads by actually placing a resistor across them. Um, so we can actually see how much you can cancel out of lead resistance. So let's throw that in there. Uh, let's go across to resistance. All right, and uh, let's grab a couple of resistor values and see. All right, starting off with something large. This is a 1 ohm as well, it's not large, it's just a, a low value. Of course, that won't be a problem to delta out at all. So that's fine. So basically, now any resistance measurements, well, the 1 ohm resistor is going to show 0 ohms because it has been uh, offset. So let's try some larger value resistors and see what the outcome is. What do we have here? This is a 100k. I doubt we can cancel that out. But hello, you can cancel out a 100k resistor. So yeah, it's not really a delta. It's more of a um, a relative reading. So well, it is exactly what it is. It's a relative reading. It allows you to take a measurement relative to. So if your resistance is of your leads is say one or two ohms, you can take a, a reading relative to that. Like if I short the resistor, the two leads out, we do have some resistance there. If you want to get 100% accurate, zero resistance, and you can take your measurement now, and it will be more accurate. So basically, what we're doing is we're offsetting. We're basically taking a relative reading, so it's relative to. So if I'm measuring a 10K resistor, and I push that button, I'm going to take a measurement relative to 10K, um, if that makes sense. So in other words, it's going to ignore 10K and whatever the resistor is. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to work. So yeah, this is quite a handy feature. Um, the backlights on this meter is a lot better than the old 811 that I have. Uh, it's very nice and visible. Uh, so yeah, that's an improvement. But Every other feature is pretty much the same as the old 811 that I've got that I did the review on. Um, this one does have a few advantages such as being able to read the frequency of the AC that you're measuring. So if we go across to AC volts and we do an AC measurement, 
it's going to measure the voltage um, and it's going to give you the frequency that, uh, of that voltage which is brilliant a few nice things about this meters if you don't know them is um, cat 4 1000 volts rated one of the highest ratings in the industry to date for multimeter safety and um, this meter over here is actually my second or oh, sorry third Bremen meter um, I've actually gone on a bit of a Bremen spree of late uh, before I used to make use of a lot of fluke meters but I slowly I'm changing out my fluke meters for these Bremens and there's good reason for that thanks for watching ciao bye